Process number nine is size. Size is the ability to determine importance or magnitude. Symptoms of difficulty with size include poor sense of timing, such as in music or rhythm, and difficulty with the time component of task management, which would be organizational skills. It can also be difficult for the student to judge physical size. All information coming to the brain has an element of magnitude or size. When a task must be completed within a certain time frame, we must accurately judge the size of the task and the time frame it will take to complete the task. Some of the common symptoms of inadequate processing of size are the inability to organize tasks in a timely manner, such as misjudging the time it will take to do a homework assignment, thus running out of time, or being chronically late for engagements and deadlines. Overreacting to an insignificant event or situation also involves the judgment of size, or the person may underreact in more serious situations. For example, if the student has a test on Friday that will determine a third of his grade, he might say, oh, no big deal, I'll study on Thursday. The following exercise can be used to assess the process of size. This assessment is for ages nine through adults. Letters printed on an eight and a half by 11 sheet and a dry erase board made of a piece of white cardstock placed inside a clear sheet protector. The letters are one inch in height and spaced about one inch apart. They are offset to one side to make judgment of size more difficult. The student will sit at a table facing a wall during the exercise. Attach the chart to the wall at the student's eye level with a whiteboard placed in front of the student. Using a dry erase marker, the student will duplicate the size and spacing of the five letters on the chart. The student should do this freehand without physically measuring or comparing the letters to the chart. After the letters are drawn, take the cardstock out of the sheet protector and evaluate the size of the student's letters by overlaying them on the letter chart. The inability of the student to copy the size of the letters on the chart within a quarter of an inch, and this can be either larger or smaller, would be an indication of difficulty with the process of size. The inability to accurately space the letters within a quarter of an inch would be an indication of a problem with both position and space and size. After a few minutes of instruction and practice, the student should be able to consistently duplicate the size and spacing of the letters within a quarter of an inch.